Hello, hello, working on the audio. Guys, can you hear yet? There <laughs> on we my are. side, they say they can hear you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Like I was saying before, uh, <laughs> wouldn't be a tipsy tricksy takeover without some kind of technical difficulty. You guys can hear me now in chat. Go ahead and let me know. Give me the thumbs up and say hello. All right, thanks for letting me know, Anthony. So we're just gonna roll with it. We've got Fixer VR here. He is a great guy, great player, great streamer. You guys know him for his morning streams, his evening streams, and he likes to pop in and play with y'all. I wanna say hello to Fixer. Hi, Fixer, how you doing tonight? I'm good, Tipsy, how are you? I'm doing swell, so uh, we're gonna do the easy things. We're gonna do a bunch of questions. We're gonna play a little game. And uh, the most right. important piece, we're going to ask everybody to share your info out, get more people in here, get you some more followers. Can you tell us where to find you online? You can find me on Facebook Gaming at Fixer VR, F1, XER, VR. But you can also find me on TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, and a Discord channel called the Fixer Network. Beautiful. All right. And if so you, you guys find, heard it. And if you can't find anything there, it's also at Fixer.com. Fix it with Beautiful. a one and fix it with an eye. Okay. Well, you guys heard it. If you're not already following, get in there and do your job. <laughs> All right. So we're going to run through a bunch of questions to get to know Fixer a little bit better. And uh, I've been watching Fixer doing my uh, lurking, watching, stalking thing. And uh, this one is hard to pinpoint for me. Um, you will uh, see during our weapons game that uh, I think I might have a pretty good idea. But uh, he, he likes this word. He's a hodgepodge loot simulator himself. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, yep, loot goblin, all kinds of different names they call me. Nice. <laughs> all right, so yes. Fixer, we're gonna start with some pretty simple questions. Uh, where right. are you located? I'm in the lovely city of Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati, Ohio. Midwest. Okay. Yes, Cincinnati all Reds, right. Bengals, all the good I sports teams, right? Yeah, I, I mean, as a little kid, I liked the Bengals, so um, that means nothing, but <laughs> <laughs> that's how I relate. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, so let's talk about uh, outside of Pop One. What do you do for a living? I do consulting. I do social media and, and digital consulting for companies that don't understand how to do digital and social media. And, that's, and I've also taught at uh, Wright State University in Dayton, teaching seniors how to uh, navigate social and digital social media and, and get jobs that's super cool thank you for doing that i know uh quite a few people that could use your expertise so great guy here um let's get into some pop one questions so uh you seem to be a very good player when i watch you you're a great teammate uh, but most of all you're very careful cautious you're almost uh overly strategic i see and uh, you have a lot of fun when you're playing. So I'm curious, when did you start playing the game? Well, I, I looked that up to try to figure out when we bought the game. So we bought the game October 30th, 2020. So eight days after it launched. See, And I yep. bought it for my son, um, hoping my 14 year old son, well, 13 year old son at the time was going to play the game. <laughs> and I went in, I went in to test it and I thought, oh my God, I can't do this. I couldn't even figure out how to fly. And um, so I didn't start playing religiously until probably around the pandemic, right, right around when the pandemic really hit hard. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was around, I guess that was April, April 21 is when I really started playing. But before okay. that, it was just casual or, or, or Jack was in there playing. Okay. Um, I also bought the VR for my kids and they just didn't take to it and I took it over. And look at us now. Yep, exactly. <laughs> we are VR king and queen here. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, gosh. So the, kid, the things we do for our kids. Right, exactly. We spend that money because we really secretly want it. <laughs> yes. And we're so happy when they're like, I don't like this. Yes, okay. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes. There's, a story, there's, there's, there's another story to that. Do you want to share? Well, yeah. So I, uh, so we we have a, a larger family, 
So I bought the first Oculus when it first came out. Then we bought Oculus One, the Quest One, and that's the one we bought Jack. And then we bought the Quest Two, and then we ended up giving everybody one for Christmas in hopes yeah. that my daughters, which I believe are watching, my daughters would play. So they all have Quest, and then my son-in-law now, my soon-to-be son-in-law has a Quest, and we bought Jack another Quest in hopes that he would play. Right now I use Jack's as ones for spare parts, ones in <laughs> New Orleans, and ones, ones across the way. And um, so I'm still the only one that plays, but we now have five or six of them just laying around somewhere. Holy cow. So if you guys yeah. are looking for a hand-me-down Oculus, go ahead and reach out to <laughs> Fixer <right>. VR. <laughs> yes, Fixer VR. Shout part section. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's talk about that uh, gamer tag. Fixer VR with the one as the I. Where did you get the name? What does it mean to you? Well, you look at my logo. Uh, the logo has a dragon above the skull. And so when I first started the game, Jack did not want to speak. And so what we ended up calling it was uh, Mutant Dragon was my original name. And he hated that. And everybody in the family hated it at the time. And then I thought, we need to change it. And I'm always, what I always do is my children fail and then I hope and fix whatever's broke. Uh, and that's, you know, I'm not a helicopter parent, but it seemed like it. And um, so what it is, I took that fixed part and I just said, you're okay with that. The I obtain. So I made one population wall, and that's how I got to fix your name, so I basically fix stuff. Okay. And then uh, what level are you currently? What? I'm sorry, what? What level are you? We back. Well, I got a level 61 and a half. 61 and a half. <laughs> oh, a half, eight, 62. Yep, yep. And, and that half, 60, yeah. that half is a big deal. And I understand it. <laughs> Once you get to those higher levels, like it's, it's, that half is a big deal. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> what, uh, are you in a clan? I know that, uh, you, I, I think I've heard that you've played in tournaments before, but are you in a clan? So, so you're breaking up a little bit, and I don't know if that's my story, because I did hear the oh. question. So the okay. question is, am I in a clan? So yep. I've been in multiple clans, um, and it's interesting how this got started. I have I have Charlie, hey, 1981. I have him to think for all of it, really. This is how I got started, because I started watching him when I pandemic thing else to trying to figure out exactly how to work i could figure out how to fly so i bought i watched hater and uh at one point he said hey why don't you join bde and there's no tryouts or anything so that was the first time i'd ever been on discord and uh so i went to discord went to BDE and just kind of watched again i'm i'm watch and learn that then i apply okay. so that was I was with um, killed on fight at one point, and then now I'm with and uh, Hatter and I to try out with me. What I wanted to play comps and they try out, and I know Ohana, um, Ohana three, so, so Omega. Uh huh. Um, but we're kind of moving. I'm moving away from. That type of clan and more trying to create a different different type of clan, the VR VIPs. Okay. So that's yeah. where I'm at right now is the VIP. Okay. Still and mega, but kind of branched off. Okay. Do you play in tournaments? Am I still Sorry, chopping? I broke it again. I don't know if it's on my side. Okay. I think oh. on my side. I may have to restart. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think it's a, a little bit Very choppy here and there. <laughs> All right, I think let me, let me jump out and come right back. Yeah, sure. Okay. 
If you guys are just joining the uh, Tipsy Trixie out. Takes Over Tuesday show, we are interviewing Fixer VR. Fixer VR is uh, working on a little bit of uh, audio. He's going to come right back in. Um, I'm also checking mine as well. We want to make sure that you guys get the best audio possible. So uh, I think... Yep, that audio uh, on the stream sounds all right to me. So uh, thank you for joining. You guys can find Fixer on all kinds of different platforms. So uh, when he pops back in here, I'm going to just jump on down here. So uh, when he spawns in, we can say hello again. And I'll have him share with you where you can find him. And if you guys can go ahead and take that uh, chance right now to go ahead and like the stream, hit that heart button, and share it out. Get Fixer from some more viewers in here so that we can uh, help him share out Population 1. He might be the person that makes someone want to play, so it's important that we do that. Just kind of hang out here. He's kind of spawn every any minute. Where do we think he's going to spawn? Here? Oh, I bet you he spawns up there. Let's see where he ends up. Thank you for joining the stream. Thanks for liking the stream. We're just waiting for Fixer to pop back in. He had some, uh, I think some audio glitchiness, so he just wanted to make sure you had a great audio for this interview experience. I do as well. Have a couple more questions and then we're going to head into the weapons game where I'm going to have to guess what Fixer's favorite uh, loadout is. And uh, I don't know, if you guys are a fan of Fixer and you want to drop into chat what you think uh, might be his favorites, that might help me out. That might help me out. He is a hodgepodge of uh, weaponry. Um, hopefully he's popping in any second now. He just had to restart. We're waiting for him to... Uh, spawn here on the street I know he's around here somewhere come on fixer there he is I'm back yay how's the audio better better oh much better excellent okay e my even site in my, too even in my stream they, they said in my stream they said you're, gl you're glitching fix <laughs> <laughs> you're glitching you're getting all choppy <laughs> all right so just uh, a quick uh uh, recap in case the audio was a little bit glitchy. Um, you are level 61 and a half. Your yep. clan, you'd like to thank uh, Hater for kind of uh, gearing you towards the right direction, but uh, you're currently playing with Omega. Is that correct also? I'm, I'm, I'm with Omega currently, uh -huh. and then there's, and I'm, I'm starting to, where I may split off, and because I'm in a, in comps with VR VIP. Yep. And so we're thinking about doing one for creators and people that want to do that creating creating spot not maybe not as hardcore uh, of competition but uh that's what we're that's what we're working on so Beautiful. we got things 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 are brewing yep my eyes are on nightmare for an interview by the way hey <laughs> <laughs> all right we're gonna play a little game and if you've watched my uh streams before you know that the game is going to be our weapon loadout uh that whoop, hold on a second Oop, we got a little popping into the... There's my fingers. There we yeah. go. We want to go into... Do you have the settings. little... Yep. Yeah, the... Uh, I, I When I pop into the stream, I realize that the buttons on the controllers are slightly different once you uh, are streaming. So I always hit the wrong ones in here. We're going to pop into a match. We're going to play the weapon loadout game. Fixer, you're going to load it up with your favorite <laughs> weapons. Do your best. Pick what if you could pick anything. Fill it up, and uh, I'm gonna try and oh. match it according to how I've been stalking your stream lately. This is really <laughs> it's it's already depressing me because there is no match for anything for you. But we'll talk about that when we get back. Let's yes, see. we will. We're gonna go ahead and start the Good match luck. here, and uh, you let me know when you're uh, fully loaded out. This could be a really short match. It could be. It could be. I'm just going to go down and grab a bunch of stuff all, and say, I'm done. All the bouncing stuff The no gravity's on. This is great. <laughs> I'm going to hit cemetery over here and see what I can find. If you guys are in chat and you know Fixer's gameplay and you want to take a guess, give a shot. I promise I won't peek until I'm done picking. 
but uh, see if you can play the game too with us. That would be fun. Let's see here. I don't think he carries that. I know he likes these. I know he likes these because I appreciate these. These are phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yep, no gravity's gonna maybe take a while now. <laughs> All right, there's one particular weapon that I notice is a very regular for him. This is a yes. It better be a yes, because this is all I've been seeing him pick up lately. Jeez. <laughs> oh, that was no pressure. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. Now, okay. now, it, now it almost seems like it's reversed. Uh-huh, right? <laughs> I need a backpack. Here we go. We need that because uh, we need more. Okay, I know that this is something I regularly see. So... That better be right, fixer. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> now, see, the 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 best part of this is I don't normally think too much about this. Mm-hmm. That's and then we'll talk about that after. Mm-hmm. I know you don't think about it. I know. <laughs> In fact, I'm just gonna say now, like, you like to pick up whatever's in front of you. And go with it. And then you, like, <laughs> replace as you play. Okay, I think yes. this is... <sighs> Deciding on heels right now. I can't even... I want to say this is... Not that. This. Oh, this better be right. <laughs> okay. I just can't believe I can't find what I need. <laughs> There's a couple over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll point them out to you. <laughs> oh, now here's the funny thing is I've seen this on a regular basis, but I also see this in the wheelhouse as well at the same time, which is, um, it always is conflicting to me. Same ammo, but, uh, <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I need one of these here because I'm going to double up because uh, this guy likes those. So what? They're my favorite. Oh, that's my favorite right there. Okay, moving on. Mm -hmm. huh. Oh, okay. Let me see what I'm missing here. Um... All right. Yes, yes. I feel good about that, that, and that. This is the only one that I possibly want to trade out. I feel like I should be looking for something else. Um, hmm. Let me take a thinking here. I think that... Oh, I think I want to try to find... Gosh. I don't know. I might just quit right now. I, I, I think I might just I quit say, right I'm now. Not, I'm not sure this is going to be a matchup. I'm not. Because <laughs> I, I, I'm thinking through my process right now. And you're and I'm confused? thinking I need, to, I need to rethink my process. <laughs> this is the only thing that I thought may, ooh, maybe I would switch it out with here. I don't know. I haven't seen you use them though, but... Okay. Hodgepodge, here we go. I'm ready when you are. Where right. would you like me I'm to... I'm ready where, where... Okay. Where would you like me to uh, meet you? Where, are you still in cemetery? I am. Are you still in outpost? Uh, I am. So let's just meet in the middle. Ice cream sandwiches? Yep. All right. I love how everybody calls them, calls them the ice cream <laughs> sandwiches. Then there's the, you know, uh, the Baywatch I mean... Towers now. Uh-huh. Yep. And Kong Tower. Yeah. Kong Tower. Uh huh. I didn't call these the ice cream sandwiches until I think I heard uh, Space and Skittles call them ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> and then I was like, oh yeah, yeah, look at them. They do look like ice cream sandwiches. And now I want an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> There's yeah. Fixer. All right. Yes! Yes! I got All the right. first one right! Aha! Oh, shoot! Shoot! <laughs> you gave it away! Shoot! Sucker! <laughs> Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, okay. So I did notice that you uh, like to carry that for speed. So we've got uh, the match of the samurai. 
The next thing that I yeah, I'm noticed... I'm like Lightning McQueen right there. Uh-huh, right? Uh, the next thing I noticed, which I was conflicted about, is I was looking for health, and I had decided to go with sodas instead of a banana. Holla! Hey! Dang, look at that, guys. Okay, okay. The next thing I saw... Oh, you carried both? Oh, man. <sighs> I did not pick up shield. I noticed that uh, you don't really use shield, so I didn't nope. pick that up. <laughs> I don't okay. use shield. This is one that I felt fairly confident in. It's really going to break my heart if it's not in there. Oh, thank God. Is that a three star? It is. It is. I, I replaced yeah. it. I figured it was uh, nice. classier. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. The next one was a. I was. I was trifled with uh, the RFB, but instead I grabbed some Maddies. Um, I've seen Oof. all kinds of different guys. Oh, I should have went with the RFB and went my comments. And we call the RFB, that we call that one the Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby, huh? Refried beans. Ricky, Ricky Bobby. Bobby. Okay. Ricky all Bobby. Because right. we shake and bake. Yep. So when I was making the comment that it was the uh, exact same uh, ammo, you knew what I was talking about, maybe? <laughs> no. No? Okay. And I, I totally see that I'm going to get this next one wrong because oh, you're holding oh. a P90. God dang it. Shoot. Okay, I went with some nades. Uh, you know what? I did have nades because uh, my my buddy and I, uh, Nick Lush, challenged us this week to uh -huh. do grenade kills. Mm -hmm. And so I, at one point I had 10 grenades and one P90. Okay. So that would have been right if McLush was here. Because I doubled up with nades because I've been watching you more this week. And so what I was watching was your challenge. Dang it. Yes. Oh, okay. All yes, right. That's my challenge. <laughs> the P90 there it replaces is. that. Okay. So uh, Fixer's uh, loadout. He likes the P90, the RFB, the CX4. He likes bananas and sodas and the samurai. So I don't know. And I can tell you something else. Uh -huh. I never, I never drank, carried sodas. Until I heard on your stream, I don't remember who you were talking to about the rapid drink. Yep, that I right? can't do that it. That stuff. Yep. Uh huh. Well, I thought oh, there's got to be a way to do that. And then some kid we were playing with one day said, "Oh yeah, you just spam the A button." And I said, yep. "What? You spam the A button?" And then the next thing I know, I'm picking up sodas and we're slamming them down. And so I tell everybody, "That's uh, it's fun." Oh man. Oh boy. Yeah. Is this it? <laughs> you know. <laughs> I love it. Kill fixer. <laughs> you totally knew when I was picking up that gun what was going down. <laughs> I, figured, I figured something. As soon as all my weapons were lost, I knew something was going to about to happen. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> hey, that's my normal scores. <laughs> Goose eggs. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Awesome. If you guys are just joining me on the Tipsy Trixie Takes Over Tuesday, we are done with the weapons loadout game and uh, we're rolling into uh, some additional questions. And uh, I did okay. I don't know that I feel super confident in how I did, but uh, I, I mean, with the whole hodgepodge of weapons, I think I did all right. <laughs> I think I got, I mean, the CX, the Samurai, the Soda. The CX, I mean. Like I said, I think I think for me, th this game is is test and learn always. I'm yep. always testing and learn, and um, so when I land, I pick up whatever there is there, and then I make sure that I can, I can shoot it and use it and, and go. Yep. So it's and because there's a good chance, and a lot of a lot of times, I play with uh, Max the Cool Cat early on, mm -hmm. and that yep. kid. Go in, grab whatever was there, and clear out a whole squad, like, in a matter of seconds. <laughs> and I watched it. I thought, oh, my God, I need to be able to do that. I need to do that. And so yep. that's why I started I, I started picking up whatever was there and, and then just going. A lot of times it gets me killed, though, so I'm, yep. I'm just not as quick. <laughs> oh. Well, Fixer VR, where can we find you online for those that are just joining the stream and looking to share this out? If you are just joining, you can go to... F1 XER VR on TikTok, Twitch, um, YouTube, and Facebook Gaming. So, okay. I, and I I try stream on those three: the Facebook Gaming, Twitch, and uh, YouTube. Yeah. Every time I go out, so. I'm and on all uh, three. you are live right now. Is that correct? 
I am live right now. All right. Yes. So don't be shy, guys. If you are popping into my <laughs> stream, pop over to his stream. Make sure you share that that content. And uh, let's talk a little bit about your schedule because you have some stapled uh, times that you go on and uh, some titles that we're very used to. And uh, why don't we talk about your uh, stream schedule? Sure. My stream schedule is uh, most mornings. Uh, at 8 o'clock, start at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, and that one is called Coffee Talk, and uh, Coffee Talk in the morning, and then that goes usually 8 to 10, and then I have one in the evening called Bedtime Stories, which is usually 8 to 10, and then I'm usually not on on Saturdays, and I'm on Sunday nights, and, and Saturday, well, I am on Saturday mornings, but not Friday nights, so I try to work-life balance thing. And then there's, if it's not raining on a Friday or a Thursday, I'm, I may be out playing golf. So. <laughs> Very nice. All right. All right. So if you guys are popping into the stream, you can pop into chat. Let me know that you're here so I can let uh, Fixer know that you're here watching. And then you can also pop over to his stream, say hello. Make sure you do that like, follow, and share. If you haven't done that follow already, let's get Fixer some attention and uh, share out that content. So... Uh, let's talk about those weapons that you just loaded up with and some of the other ones that are yep. around us. Do you have any secrets that you want to share with any weaponry here? God. Um, I don't have any secrets with weapons. Okay. I, I, what I learned from what I learned from the weapons is what I watch from the streamers, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's hard to believe that I'm a streamer, but it's I watch <laughs> them and I, I try to take bits and pieces of what they're doing and test on and test for myself yeah but i a trick no there I, I don't have a trick but i wish that i wish they were like the cans mm -hmm. i wish i had known about the cans like a year ago <laughs> right i was yeah. doing the spinning the wheel popping it out doing that stuff and then the banana thing i you know i know we're on weapons but the banana thing the peeling uh -huh. it on the one side on one side four times yep. you know that was six months six six eight months ago that i learned that those yep. are things that i wish i had learned a long time ago absolutely uh, but yep no 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 secrets i don't think i really have any secrets other than the, than the uh if you if you use the p90 right even with it the way it is today you can still one hand it and it's almost like a it's almost like a snipe. So nice, nice. It is what All it right. is. Yep. What about uh, your least favorite weapon? What what one of these uh, lovely ladies over here do you uh, not like playing that, with? This I hate. I hate this gun. <laughs> I hate this one. Uh huh. I can pick it up. Uh huh. I hate that. I don't know why. <laughs> and I hated it even more when I would get sniped with it, with the uh, <laughs> over the over the head I do you hate, hate it, it a little it, so the Seiko. do you hate it a little less now that uh people are are not so apt to picking it out oh i'm so happy that nobody picks it up anymore it's so <laughs> nice oh uh, yeah i, I uh, started to learn to play with it until they changed it and then i was like nope i'm done <laughs> yeah i mean i literally you know you know i i well um big daddy on that i play with a lot he calls me the the uh loot hoover uh, and you know where I'll just go in and pick up anything. That's the only gun that I will actually walk by. Okay. Today. I yep. Just and I, I didn't see you it. picking it up. So, but I also, uh, you know, was watching you do a challenge and <laughs> not your typical <laughs> gameplay. Dang it! What's up, Big Drip? Is in the house. Hello. How you doing this evening? Thanks for joining us. We are doing the interview with Fixer VR. And uh, Fixer, let's talk about why you stream. Well, uh, I think as we talked before, I teach digital and so I used to teach digital and social media at the college level and I always wanted to challenge myself. And um, when, I, when we first got the game, then we started playing, I saw people with this verified tag, mm -hmm. right? Under the thing and I said, you know, I'd really like to get that. How do I have to get that? And I, I would play and I would ask people and I would watch Samachi go through and just tear through everybody. And mm -hmm. um, and then I watched Hater and and uh, and, and all of those players early on and I thought you know what I want to see if I can do that and so back in April of 21 I started that little trek to go down and, st and started recording what I was playing yep and uh, in August I think it was August of 21 
I actually started started the TikTok account where I started posting. So I went through and got all my branding stuff early on. After I picked Fixer, I went and bought all this, I got everything I needed as far as the URLs, the branding. So everything was consistent because that's what we would teach and that's what we tell you to do if you're a business. Yep, that's so, right. So um, did that and so started on the trek. I didn't have a PC, so I'm a Mac guy. That's the other part of this puzzle. So I'm a Mac guy, so I started recording, and then I would edit in the piece in the Mac, throw it back in my phone, then put it on TikTok, and then I would do <laughs> that. I would put, I would, I posted when I first started, probably eight to ten times a day. Wow, that seems like a lot of work. <laughs> it actually, it actually wasn't. It took me about five minutes to edit. So okay. I would play the games at night. I would come in in the morning and just bang through, you know, you know, for an hour, and then I would have my content and I just spread it out through the day. Yeah, sure. So I uh, did that, and within eight days, eight or nine days, I had a 1,000 followers on Wow, TikTok. that fast. So it was really quick. And that was not purchasing. That was not gaming the system. So I, I, that was a legit, that was a grind. And, Amazing. Um, so within a month, I was verified. So that puts, that puts us at uh, October, September. Yep. So I, I was verified, I believe, by September. Which I thought, oh, this is really cool. So I continued that on, um, and then uh, a few months ago, my daughter and son-in-law bought a PC for me, and uh, and uh, I also watch my granddaughter. So I have a granddaughter mm -hmm. um, that is seven months old, and so I watch her a couple days a week. So sometimes my stream is, they want me to strap Lily on my chest and play Population One with the baby. I don't, <laughs> Hey, if, too much. if you're down with that, I'm pretty sure I can get Reaper to do the same thing with Pop One Baby. And uh, you guys can do a daddy show. And uh, I know it, it's actually, I bet you, you probably get a lot of views yeah. for that. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Daddy and grandpas. Uh -huh. uh, yep. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I'd be down for that. Well, I'll have to check with my daughter. Um, <laughs> and make sure you don't clock Laura, her in the head <laughs> when Laura, you're climbing. My she wants to call the show Lunch with Lily. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, because you do breakfast. And, yeah, exactly. That breakfast, would be awesome. Breakfast, lunch, and, and, and bedtime. But uh, so oh, I got I the like PC, it. and that's when I started, I started streaming probably a couple months ago. Uh -huh. And uh, so I have like 3,300 followers on TikTok, and I thought, oh, this will be easy. This will be – it'll. it's transferable. It's got to be. It's not transferable. Um, so I've, I've – organically grown to about 150 on Facebook. Uh -huh. I have grown to 100 just yesterday on Twitch. Yep, I and, was your 100th. Uh, <laughs> I made sure yes. I was your 100th. <laughs> <laughs> and so the, uh, I'm, I'll, I'll have to print that out. The um, <laughs> And then YouTube, I don't give that as much attention that I that as I should, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, I think I'm at 30 or 40 on that. But like I said, I multi-stream because I figured that's the best, that's the biggest bang for the buck. Yep. Um, and you can reach a lot more people that way. So that's that's how I got started. Awesome. I'm not sure that's I, I think that squares the circle. I'm not sure. OK, well, uh, thanks, uh, Barb Wire, for sending them stars. Thank you guys for joining the stream and liking and sharing the content. I see you popping in here. I appreciate it. I know this guy Fixer VR. He appreciates it, too. He's also live, so you can also jump over to his page. Uh, no uh, hard feelings if you guys want to watch directly um, and see the other side of the point of view from the uh, interviews from the Tipsy Trixie show. So. Uh, some more questions for you when you're streaming or let's let's ask a question about your teammates um, Do you like to pick your teammates based on if you're streaming or not? Does it uh, do you like, you know Specify who you want to play with because you're on on uh, TV for people No, it doesn't matter, um, doesn't matter? So okay. I'll play with just about anybody um, okay. and Even randos the, Even randos Okay. Because um, I think because because the randos are like so if I play, so uh, I I have a great opportunity. I've met a ton of people, right? And they are awesome. So Raging Handicap helped mm -hmm. me immensely. We played comps together. Played with them tons in, and you know I've I've had conversations on the phone and Facetimed with him to help me set my stuff up. Mm -hmm. And then there's Space Roach and Mr. McSkittles. I've played with him uh, in a comp. With 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 Roach one time, and then you know, there's tons of people. I wish I could just name everybody that that I just love to watch and stuff, but um, I don't pick. 
I used to not pick anybody to play with because, you know, who wants to play with me, right? It's just, I, I'm just, I'm just the guy. <laughs> it's just recording. It's not that big a deal. And along the way, um, McLush, Crayons, and Jay Goat, um, I started playing with them a lot. And uh-huh. I play with McLush a ton. Yep, and I've he seen is that. he's hilarious. <laughs> and uh, so a lot of times in the morning, McLush will be there. And it'll be myself, McLush, and Crayons, or my, myself, uh, McLush, or, and um, Jay Goat. Now Big Daddy's in the mix. And then if we can't find anybody else, we'll go random. Uh, there's Nick Nans. He's a new guy that's a streamer that, oh, he has some banter on chat. <laughs> it is it is funny so we get to play so i get and i get to play with the people that actually watch too which is which is fun so if, if i can get my kids to play the the circle will be complete so yeah that's, let's that's get them I'm in headed, here i don't I, it doesn't matter who they are to family play, friday so I, I just eh? want to play <laughs> oh, oh i like this uh-huh, we get uh-huh. everybody's family we'll just get a room the yes, haters a custom room let's Devil do family Reaper friday and, and tipsy <laughs> now and the baby's all strapped on this will be great <laughs> That, that would be that would be interesting, crying babies oh. and, and people crying yelling babies. and the cussing. Oh, it would be pretty funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you are wearing uh, a close to one of my favorite skins. Uh, mine is the original Zero, but uh, you are wearing another form of it. Uh, what is your yeah. earliest legendary skin or the earliest skin that you like the most? Oh, uh, the one I liked the most, uh, well, the one I played with before I started wearing this one a lot was PJ. So blue PJ. I just okay. wanted to be, I just wanted to, uh, for wanted the lack to be of a basic. better word, I just wanted to be basic. <laughs> uh, as Freddie, Freddie, Freddie will tell you this. Uh, so uh-huh. Freddie calls it common, the common PJ. So, okay. uh, so I was the common PJ for the longest time. And I always told my son, oh, we're not buying any skins. We're not going to buy any skins. So. I didn't buy the the scarecrow, and I didn't buy the Santa Claus. Shame, shame, I wish, shame. <laughs> I wish I had got the Santa Claus because the Santa Claus was, is awesome. But yep. after, after that, I think I've got just about everyone except I don't have Vlad, the purple haze, the yellow submarine guy, and uh, the other two. But I think I have everything else. Okay. So, yep. But this one, this one speaks to me. It yep. it reminds me of Moon Knight from Marvel. Oh, and it then does. the detective yeah. reminds me of Mark and Stevie, so. Yeah. Uh, that's, yep, that's, the uh, that's original one of uh, Zero is my favorite, definitely. So, um, okay. Yeah, see, that's one I don't have, too, so. Oh, okay. And I have the Ice Queen as well, Aurora. <laughs> 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 okay, well, uh, let's talk about. Uh, you kind of talked about what you wish you knew from the very beginning of playing pop one. You talked a little bit about like the bananas and the soda cans. Is there anything else that you yep. wish you knew early on in the gameplay? Um, how, how I wish when I first started, I wish I had understood again, I started as muted dragon. So I went in and muted everybody. I wish I had <laughs> understood early on the social component of this game. Yep. Right. It's not just your teammates, but it's the people around you, the people that are in this in this community. I wish I had started earlier to talk and communicate. Um, So and and I know there's there's families out there that don't want their kids to play and Mm -hmm. speak to adults and which is totally understandable. On the flip side of that, I play with kids that I think that are eight and nine years old, which is crazy to me. Yep, Um, we all do. And some of them are phenomenal. So oh, they're unbelievable. I mean, yep. the, I mean, their reflexes and the way they can move is just, is just crazy. So, so I wish I had communicated sooner. So I guess that's the, I guess that's the answer. Okay. What I should have, I should have picked up on sooner. And when you play with new players, how do you coach them or how do you guide them along to help them out? <laughs> uh, I, I coach them the way I would coach my own children. And that is, I, let them feel it out for themselves i let them fail and then i help them fix it yep um fix her (laughs) yeah i mean i mean because you learn by doing and uh you have to understand how a starship works and that's what i tell my that's what i tell my kids it's a star trek reference uh but you have to understand how it works and the only way to do that is to actually do it so if they don't understand how to climb, I, one of my earliest TikToks that I that I thought was so cute is a new guy couldn't figure out how to climb, and he didn't talk. 
And so I had to figure out how to communicate uh-huh. nonverbal to get him to eat the banana or to climb or figure out the whole <laughs> one-handed one-handed thing. So, I mean, I would love to see that. Just, That's awesome. Said, <laughs> I will see if I can I can I can pull that out of the archive somewhere. Yeah, that would be great. Oh, my, yeah. my daughter my daughter on stream says it's called Tough Love. Okay. I know that uh, Reaper and I have a soft spot for playing with those noob kids and uh, the really super young ones. We we had one the other night, actually. And, you know, he's like, um, I'm new at this game. I'm level 10, I think. And, you know, my first reaction was, oh, God. Okay, here we go. But then uh, as we get going, this kid starts to, like, laugh and giggle. And we we actually, like, get down to the end of the game and we won. And he's like... Woohoo! Mm-hmm. We won! Yeah. Oh, we won! Oh yeah. my gosh, we won! And it was like, let's play with him again. <laughs> yeah, it's through the and it's it's fun to do that because it's through the eyes of a child, that that's in, innocent enough to not understand that what we're doing, but but they're so happy that they've gotten where they are. Exactly. And it makes them want to go. It's like when you hit a good golf shot, right? You hit the golf shot, you have a lousy day. You hit one golf shot. Oh, oh, I'm coming back. Yep. This is the best. It doesn't right? take much. It's that, yep. it's that kind of feeling. It doesn't yep. take much at all. Absolutely. Hey, uh, Fixer, will you share your stats with us? Do you have those handy? I do. Uh, they're not impressive. That's okay. Uh, Mine aren't let's either. See. Let's see. <laughs> so my career stats are I've had <laughs> uh, I need, I, maybe I need to get a life. I don't know. Uh, 7,600 <laughs> 7, games, 7,641 games. I have won 1,640, 1,664 of those games. I have over 10,000 kills. My kill rate or my win rate is 21%, and my average average kills is 1.3. And okay. I think on my like weekly, and when, when I'm trying, I do much better. I'm usually at around 40%. Yep. And I'm at I'm almost at two, but you okay. know it's again I, like today I was with randoms most of the day. Yep. And I'm okay with that. I don't. I'm not a stats guy. I don't. I don't. I'm not. I'm not doing this for stats. Uh, and and uh, I think it's. I think it's great for the guys that are that are killing it. And I I think that's awesome. But for me, the RP, even this RP stuff. Yep. I just grind to get to where I want to be, the master. Yep. And then I don't then worry just, about RP anymore. Yep. Get to I just where go back to, to my normal play. Right. That's a so. lead way right into my next question. If you care about the rank, so uh, what do you think about the rank system? I think it changed the game. I don't know if it's for the better or for the worse, but I mean, it's uh, it's made it interesting because, like I said, I like I I like the fact that you can go in and play with randoms. Yep. But now when you go in and play with with the randoms or you go in solo, there's always two or three teams of three that are consistently playing together and they know what to do, right? They stay together. Yep, um, they know what they're doing. And so <laughs> it makes Absolutely. It, 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 and it makes it a lot harder. It makes it a lot harder to go in and enjoy the game as a solo, right? Mm-hmm. And, uh, but I do I like the RP? I think it's changed the game. For, uh, again, I think on the flip side, it's changed it where it stretches the game out, right? Yep. You don't have mm-hmm. a lot of early kills because people are afraid to hot drop or people are afraid to attack right away. On the flip side, you know, sometimes I joke that my 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 stream is the shades of gray, right? Cuz I will push. I I'm notorious for pushing. Uh, <laughs> and then running to McLush or Crayon or, or Big Daddy <laughs> to get res. So, yep, yep. And they know it, so <laughs> they know your gameplay and if it works well and you get some kills out of it, heck yeah, do it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Hey, exactly. what's up, lady? Thanks for joining the stream. Thank you. If you guys are just joining the Tipsy Trixie Takes Over Tuesday, we're doing our interview with Fixer VR. And uh, we are just uh, getting through uh, close to midway of our interview here. Thank you for joining. Share out the stream. Fixer's also live right now. If you want to pop back and forth, mm-hmm. yep, and give him some love. Smash that reaction, that heart button that uh, sends out the stream a little further. Then that uh, like button and uh, just go crazy. Smash it until you break your fingers off. That's cool. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> or, until get, or until you get banned and locked out. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Fixer, uh, do you have any weaknesses to share? Like, uh, are, are you like, you know, hard of hearing in one ear where I can sneak up on you and uh, kill you? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> my wife would tell you, yes, I am hard of hearing. Uh, but no, I, um, I think the... 
my weakness is like I think we spoke already, but the I push. I'm aggressive, mm -hmm. and I push. And a lot of times I will go off, and uh, for a lack of a better word, go pick blackberries, mm -hmm. and and then lose track and loot and do all that kind of stuff, and then lose track of where everybody else is. So we'll have a discussion that hey, we're going to summit, and then I'll start going towards summit, and the next thing I know, they have already decided to go the other way. Uh -huh, so yep. I, so there's that situation where I'm just kind of like the absent-minded professor that's kind of over here and on the other hand i'm also super aggressive and always so those are my weaknesses okay and uh has pop one helped you in any special way uh it, it has solidified what what i like to do right so i'm uh my generation my what i grew up with and started with was uh, when i was in high school and i met my wife I would go to the arcades. I would put quarters on the arcades, and I would play all the arcade games, yeah. bronze, the, the the dragon's lair, and all that stuff. And um, I had I really had not played any video games um, for twenty some years. I hadn't picked anything up. Wow. So, okay. so this was the first real game that I've actually played. I uh, watched my kids play the, the Nintendos and the Switches and the Game Boys and all that stuff all the way through. And um, and now the PC stuff and Fortnite. I, I still can't figure out Fortnite to save my life. Um, <laughs> Do your kids play Roblox by chance? My son does. Jack uh -huh. does. Okay. Um, okay. He play, he's got a, he's he he can build like palaces. They do he does Minecraft too. Mm -hmm. So he's 15, just turned 15, but mm -hmm. he can build like spectacular Massive. things. Yep. And it just amazes me again what these kids what the kids can do um, with the technology. Going back to where I was when our first thing was Pong. If, I don't know if you remember that, but uh -huh. it had two yep. little handles and two little and lines. And there was a white two little white lines uh -huh. and a little white dot that would go across and then mm -hmm. you'd have to bounce it back and forth and that's you know that was the first exposure to a video game and i don't atari. think my parents <laughs> I, I we weren't allowed to have atari we didn't have in television no. um so the only thing the next thing the next my brothers got nintendo and they were about 12 12 13 years older than me or younger than me so they were able to play all that stuff. So they got that. So I would play Mario Brothers a little bit when I was, when I was uh, just in high school and stuff. So, okay. but yeah, 20, 20 some years I didn't play anything. So worked. Yeah. And now you're overexposed <laughs> to this VR experience. Oh, now, now I'm living in the meta. I'm living in the metaverse, and I, I just can't get out. I can't figure yep. out how to get out. Yep. And I don't want to leave. <laughs> I don't want to leave. It's it's so. Not, I wish my fa I wish my family. I wish Lauren and Sydney and, and Zach and, and Dawn would all come in and, and Jack would all come in here and play with me. But Oh, you could do a custom room, ask him to do it just, you know, once oh, or twice. We, that we would did be that cool. when my when my daughter Sydney was in town, she, mm -hmm. she they uh, her and her fiance live in New Orleans and when she was in town she actually did a custom room with us. So it was it was nice to play. Oh, fun. And and uh, so it's but again, they all they have lives and they have to work and they have sure. to do stuff and Yep, this is what I uh, like to do, so. Yep, it's for some and not for others. Yep, absolutely. Exactly. All right, how about some fun questions just about your, your personal life? Um, we're going to go into uh, <laughs> what is your favorite food while playing VR? Or if you don't eat while you play VR, what's your favorite food? Uh, well, uh, one of my favorite foods is Skyline Chili. So okay. like, a, like a cheese coney. So that's a that hot would be dog, fun a to bun, eat with a VR chili, headset. and then cheese. But I can't, I, I actually, yeah, that would be really greasy and dirty. Uh, Can you do that so, on a stream once? But, uh, no, I don't think so. No, I was, no. well, no, I don't think so. That would be bad because it would be on the carpet. Then I'd have to explain that to my wife. Yep. I've already had to explain a, a lamp to my wife. The, Ew, um, ouch. Yeah. The, but in the morning I'll have some toast and that's, that's the only thing I'll eat. So the only thing I've ever eaten usually during a stream is some toast in the morning and that's it. Okay. I don't really eat much while I'm streaming. Uh, what about your favorite <laughs> drink? A lot, like water, right? <laughs> water, coffee, yes. water. I mean, coffee talk in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> coffee talk. Uh, yeah, that, that's uh, that's that's kind of an uh, interesting thing. So, coffee talk comes from a Mike Myers uh -huh. Saturday Night Live uh, interview that he was doing, where he talked about how he got some of his characters, and 
he uses words to start that stuff off, and he talked about coffee and how he started this show on Saturday Night Live, and it was just coffee talk. And I thought, oh, you know what? I like I'm that, a, and yes. I can do coffee talk, and I know how to pocket ka, so I know how to do all those <laughs> all those things. And so that's how the coffee talk thing came into play. The only yep. coffee that I drink is uh, um, an occasional latte at Starbucks, and then I really like the stuff down in New Orleans. It's a, it's a cafe. Uh, oh, oh I've, I've lost it now. It, anyway, it's like a frozen, <laughs> frosty coffee. Oh. I mean, you can only get it at cafe. You can only get it at um, at uh, the beignet place. Okay, so, so it's kind of like a, a frappuccino in some way. It is a little bit, and I've okay. tried to duplicate it. So I, I've bought equipment for the house to try to duplicate it, and it uh -huh. still hasn't worked. I even yep. buy their coffee. So. Cafe yep, Dumont I've I've done is. the same with uh, my favorite drink, and it just it's never the same. You could buy exactly the same, same thing and do the exact same ounces, and it just is never the same. I don't get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're I special. Even call, I they're special this, spoon I, of love. <laughs> I did, and I even I even called Cafe Dumont and talked to the the manager at the at the at the main store in New Orleans, and I said, Hey, <laughs> I want to duplicate this. What it. do you use? Yep. And that it turns out it's a giant like. Um, margarita machine. <laughs> they have coffee, sugar, and oh, I'm thinking, oh, no. I guess I can't. Guess I can't duplicate that. So. Dang it. Yes, cafe, cafe Olet. Olet is what my daughter says it's called. So that's okay. one I like. Uh, you have a nice big family, it sounds. So, uh, uh, what is your favorite holiday? <laughs> my favorite holiday uh, happens to be right around my bir birthday, which is Christmas. So. Okay. Uh, Christmas is my favorite holiday. That's when the family all gets together and we can uh, we can all be together that one 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 day a year at least. Yep. And uh, what about favorite movie? Do you get any movie time outside of VR? I uh, do get some movie time. Uh, all the Star Wars stuff. Any, anything anything science fiction is is awesome. Anything Marvel is awesome. Uh, we actually just watched the Elvis movie, which was interesting and depressing all at, all at the oh. same time. <laughs> uh, so, um, so yeah, we, we get to watch my wife. So the best part of this is at night, my wife likes to watch Dr. P Dr. Pimple Popper. Uh-huh. I, I heard can't you mention stand that. Dr. Pimple Popper. So that's why <laughs> I come in. I can, I can go downstairs while she's watching that. And yep. it, it works out. It works out really well for, for us. I, I heard that uh, banter last night with the kids that thought you were bald <laughs> underneath your hood there, and uh, you were talking yes, about Doctor Yes, Pimple that's Popper. Marky. <laughs> yes, Doc, yes, uh, that oh, Marky guys. has started the rumor that I am I am, I am bald as uh, Lex Luthor, and I just I don't know where that comes from, but he said based on my voice, I'm definitely bald. I that's said, okay. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, dude. <laughs> All right, let's talk about furry friends. Do you have any pets? We do. We have two Parson Russell Terriers. So they're Jack Russell Terriers that have longer legs, um, and they're they've got um, they're white and black, so they have little black spots on them. Cute. Okay. Any other Levi, pets? Levi and Hobbs. Okay. No other pets. Okay. All right. You answered this next one for me, and I usually typically guess it. And uh, so I know at least I can make up a little bit for that weapons game we played. <laughs> um, are you a coffee, energy drink, tea, or soda person? And so um, you like your coffee. <laughs> Tell me I how I'm like, wrong. I, I do, like the, <laughs> do like the coffee. I like the Cafe Du Mall stuff, but I can't get it here. So I drink uh, trade secret. I trade, and it's just between you and me. Oh, okay. Uh, right. I drink. Nobody's uh, watching anyway. Water, <laughs> water with two squirts of Mio Sport grape. That's what I drink just about all day. Okay. I used to drink a lot of bro, um, but I we we I now switch to that. That's what I drink. It, it's in 30 ounce cups, and yeah. I will go through. I will go through five or six of those a day. Nice. Okay. Well. A lot uh, of if you guys are joining the stream, uh, say hello to Fixer VR. He's also live. You can jump over to his stream as well. This is the Tipsy Trixie Takes Over Tuesday interview show. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Don't forget to hit that like, 
the follow and the share on both streams and uh don't forget to uh smash that reaction and put something in chat so that we know you're here we'll give you a shout out if you want to go ahead and say hello uh fixer can you tell us where to find you online yes you can find me at fixer vr f1 xer vr on tiktok facebook gaming twitch and YouTube. And then if you can't figure out any of those, you can just go to fixervr.com and you can spell it with a one or you can spell it with an I. So I have both of those URLs and they go to the same place. And that'll Perfect. tell you, that'll take you to wherever you want to go. All right. All right. So we're jumping into pop one. How do you warm up? Do you like to uh, jump into the training park? Do you like to do TDM? What do you do to start fresh? Start fresh. So I'll get up in the morning. If if I don't have a crew that's going to play with me, uh, I will just jump into a game. So a lot of times I, I don't warm up. I don't use the training park um, because I have a limited amount of time, right? So I have a window of about two hours. Yep. And if I if I spend, you know, 30 minutes in, in there, then I, I'm not enjoying myself and having, again, it's a conversation. The, the whole idea of this game for me is to have a conversation with somebody understand where they're from right so i've met skydivers free fly jobo right and i just realized that free fly means that's one of their terms when they skydive okay. right and uh i've met guys that work for facebook and i've you know all kinds of interesting people and i miss that i miss that window if i go to the training camp so the, the training park so i jump in and just go okay awesome Want to say hi, uh, Barb Wire's back in here, Red Legend's in here saying hello. Hi, guys. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are your thoughts on playing with squeakers? Um, <laughs> well, we've had this, we had this conversation offline, so we'll, we'll, mm -hmm. we can have the conversation mm -hmm. online. I've only had <laughs> one issue with somebody that was, t uh, for lack of a better word, a squeaker. But, I mean, he was young enough that he knew every curse word in the book and knew how to call me every curse word in the book. And I told him on the platform, I said, listen, if you don't stop, I'm going to watch you die and then I'm going to box you. And uh, <laughs> he laughed it off. I let him jump off. He died. It was over by Castle. I, I remember it vividly. He jumped off. I watched him die. And then I jumped down and I said, I said, come on over. And then I boxed him in. <laughs> and um, my teammates going, what's happening? And I said, I said he wouldn't stop. And I came in. <laughs> and in. about it took about 30 seconds to a minute. And he said he was sorry. And I, <laughs> I ended up playing with him for like two or three other games after that. He, he was fine. He, he it like a light went off, a light switch went off, and he, uh, he stopped cussing. And he started. He he's played. He played. He's a good player. Um, yeah, I, had a, I had a boxing man, but I'll play with I I I will play with anybody. Look and, at this um, fixer VR, the uh, patient it's... tolerant of the squeakers player. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. Next question, I'm gonna answer first. Do you rage quit? Uh, this one felt like it was an easy no for me because it just didn't seem like you had the personality. Um, so I thought, no, you do not rage quit. I do not rage quit. So I, uh, I have stayed in a game. I have stayed in multiple games where, where for whatever reason, people will jump out right early mm -hmm. on where people would jump out to get, just try to get their points and then get out. Uh, I would stay in and by myself and hide over into a corner and, <laughs> uh, and just wait to the, wait to the last minute to pop out. But I, I just I just can't do it. I mean, it's not in my nature. Um, I take this for what it is. It's a game, and I, yep. I, I love this game, um, and I love playing the game. And so whether I'm by myself or with others, uh, I just can't see quitting just to, because I'm angry. I don't, I don't really ever get angry. Mm -hmm. I also don't I try not to cuss a lot. Um, uh, I'm... I'm I rewatched the stream the other day, and I do say the crap word a lot, but with the S, with the T. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm trying, I'm trying to work on that a little bit. And uh, I say the F word every once in a while, but I try, I try to keep it PG. And then I tell people when I'm, when I'm streaming that hey, we're about to stream, and and they keep it PG, and they 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 usually do. They're they're pretty, they're pretty open to it. So. Yep. 
if you if you so. guys uh hear a little rattle in the background of the stream, those are our chinchillas. They are uh waking up for their uh evening exercise and uh they're right next to my headset, and they are going rampant right now. Man. <laughs> so you have chinchillas, and what else What else do you have? It's not not oh. that this is not an interview for you, but what else do you have? Chinchillas yeah, and so what? Yeah, so Reaper and I have a, an issue with loving animals, um, both of us, and I grew up um, pretty much with my own zoo. <laughs> and uh, I found that he also appreciates the same type of zoo. So we have, oh, gosh, we, we just got rid of our ferrets. Um, we've got a bearded dragon. We've got three cats. We've got chinchillas that just had babies that we are um, sending off to their new home rehoming areas. <laughs> we've um, had three frogs. I love frogs. It's my favorite animal. And uh, we just uh, gave those off to uh, the reptile guy that lives near us because we're uh, planning on a future move. So we're trying to... Oh, nice. uh, cut down a little bit on our critters and uh <laughs> I, I may have even missed one or two. Oh wait we have a hamster <laughs> i mean oh yeah my, you do we, have a lot of stuff we have that's like pretty a zoo. cool we did have a dalmatian for a period of time when we realized that uh pop one baby was coming it was just not a good fit to have a new puppy and a new baby yep, at the same I time yep so uh yeah, we love our animals, and uh, I anticipate as soon as we move, we'll probably end up with them again. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you didn't say you have a snake. Uh, that, that, I, the I snake did as a kid. A deal breaker. Yep, I oh. had a snake as a kid. I had a rat, a tarantula, rabbits, a huge iguana. Oh. Yeah, I'm uh, well versed yeah, in the animal area. If y'all need some animal advice, <laughs> <laughs> I see a special stream. Oh man, no, the no, no! The Animal Kingdom. Of <laughs> the <Tipsy> Animal Kingdom. <laughs> That's a great one. <laughs> uh, okay, so moving back into some of our uh, important questions that our viewers like to yes. hear the answer for. Uh, if this one makes All you right. feel uncomfortable, don't worry about it. Just answer uh, the way that makes you feel most comfortable. What are your thoughts? Right. Um, what is your favorite streamer to watch? Watch. Um, well, I, I always watch The Godfather at night, which is Hater 1981. Mm -hmm. I watch him before I go to bed usually and uh, watch True Prime when he's when he's doing stuff. So those were like my first two that I used to watch a lot mm -hmm. at night. Um, regularly, I watch uh, Raging Handicap. I, mm -hmm. I like I like what he does. I like what he's doing with his stream. Uh, Space Roach, I love what he does. Um, I do watch Mr. McSkittles. I like it when he's playing the... Uh, it's the Disney one. I, when it's not, mm -hmm. it's not Population One related. But I watch, I watch that Kingdom one. I don't know Hearts, why that fascinates me so. Uh -huh. Yes, that's it. I don't know why that one fascinates me when I watch that, but that that one does. Um, Devil's Reaper. I watched that one. Not to mm -hmm. not to plug Devil's Reaper, but to plug Devil's <laughs> Reaper. I watched his. I watched parts of his 24-hour stream, and I could not believe. <laughs> and he was still going at 22 or 23 hours. Yep. I'm thinking, oh my God, I would have, I would have already taken a nap. Yep. Somewhere along the way. That last uh, 10 minutes was like awful too. Like I was like, hey, everybody's getting done. Yay. <laughs> and like he was like, I, I don't care. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely done. So yep. I think, uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of other ones. But I mean, Raging in Space, uh, I, I was... I was watching a few months ago when they actually hit the algorithm right, like spot on. Yes. Where they had they were they were cranking at one thousand to two thousand yes. views, <laughs> and for whatever reason, those two at that exact moment, the algorithm hit perfect for them, and I was really happy for them because that I mean that's like the ah, that's like the golden ticket of of anything you ever want to do. And it is, in and then you industry, don't want right? to stop streaming. You're like, oh, I'm gonna t right. this is gonna be my last game, and then you look up and you're like, yeah. just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I was watch because I watched them. I kept going back and forth for for the few hours that they were on, and they were still cranking it at fifteen to to two thousand people. And I'm thinking, wow. man, don't get off because as soon as you get off, you know that you know, that little it buzz breaks. will go away. But yep. they've been able to retain a lot of that stuff. And yep. like I said, Hater does a really good job as far as, I mean, he gets a lot of people at night, and most of the streamers get. Based on what I've watched, right? You know, we'll max out. Um, we'll max out to, you know, 
anywhere from three to 15, right? That's, that's mm-hmm. kind of the sweet spot right now. And cause the, there's not a lot of people playing population one too. That's the other thing. It's not Fortnite. And I forgot mad Daz. He, I, I, I watch him too. Cause he's usually on right as I'm, as I'm getting off, he's getting off work in, in, in the UK. So I, I watch him too. So, mm-hmm. um, but, um, yeah, it, okay. it's crazy stuff. So anyway, those, <laughs> those are the people. All right. So, uh, for you to play this amount of pop one, it takes, uh, not just a committed streamer like yourself, but it also takes a committed, uh, one, two, five, ten people that are supportive of you to do this. So is there anyone that you would like to thank uh, that helped you and allows you to play a lot, uh, whether it be your mods, your family, or uh, just your uh, buddies that you play with? Yeah, well, uh, first I'd like to thank my wife to that allows me the, the, the latitude to do some of this stuff, and then my kids for supporting that, and uh, the family for, for watching every once in a while. Um, but you know, I really want to thank like raging, like I said, raging helped me get this whole stream stuff set up and that, Mm -hmm. that meant a lot to me. And, um, and then the guys that show up in the morning, McLush and crayons and, and Jay goat and, and big daddy now and Nick Nans and all those guys, anybody that I play with in the morning, I, I really appreciate that because it helps. It helps, first of all, launch the launch the site as far as get me going in the morning, right? Because I, I can start. I know what I'm going to talk about. I know what we're gonna we're gonna do. Um, but I really I really appreciate everybody that helps me, and and uh, I'm willing to help anybody too. If anybody needs any help, social media wise, whatever, mm-hmm. um, I'm here to. You can bend my ear all day, and and I'll help. So, awesome. whatever it takes, and. Tipsy, I appreciate you too. I mean, I, I, I can't believe I'm being interviewed in the metaverse, <laughs> um, talking about the metaverse. Uh, it, it's, it's a little surreal. So it's, I, I appreciate this too. Absolutely. It's a beautiful thing. And, uh, the only, yes. the only thing I wanted to get out of this was I just loved pop one and I loved watching streamers and I'm always asking the same questions. So, uh, it was important for me to do something that kind of answered those questions because you see a lot of the same content. Um, a lot of people popping in a stream saying, Hey, what game is this? And, uh, just to yep. get to know your streamers a little bit better because, uh, we commit a lot of time uh, as watchers and viewers, we commit a lot of our day while we're working. Um, and we do it because uh, we start to uh, find a connection with you. And uh, we like the content, we like the game, but then like, then we know you as a person and uh, it just kind of like grows that community a little bigger. So uh, yeah, um, I appreciate you too, because I always look for that morning stream and I always look for that going to bed stream and it could not be more perfect timing for me. So thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. You're welcome yeah. at Coffee Talk anytime. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna talk about the stuff that I am super bad about our technical setup. Right. Uh, can you let us yes. know, what are you working with um, for your stream setup? Programs, surroundings, tell us. Uh, so, so my surroundings, so I'm in a, ba- I'm in a finished basement. Uh, I have moved everything out. There's sofas moved to the walls. My, the coffee table's gone. I have two flat screens, uh, televisions, on have one on the wall, one, one on a table. Um, and then I have a PC that we we talked about already, but I don't know the. I, honestly, I don't know what the mechanics are. I I haven't even looked at that. Okay. Uh, I know it's powerful <laughs> enough to do what I needed to do. Right. Um, I have a, a Elgato uh, stream deck, so I can push the buttons and do that. Um. I do have a camera, mm-hmm. so eventually I will get the nerve to actually turn it on. I'm still trying to navigate staying forward uh-huh when you're yep. playing versus because i i don't I, I used to tether i used to use the link and then it would wrap around my neck <laughs> and that never ended up well so I, i'm just i air link everything now yeah uh, so that gives me the freedom to spin around which is not ideal if you're streaming uh straight forward all the time so i'm trying to figure that i'm trying to figure that system out see if there's a way to manipulate that in such a way that I can still be free and, and still have the camera face me. So we'll, we'll, we're going to sure. do some tests and learn. On that. I, I also I am a spinner when I play. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, it's 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 a natural thing, right? And it's uh-huh. it's since I had the Oculus, that's all I've ever, you know, like I said, I've I've, I've knocked over lamps and stuff. Yep. And I've, I've I play on a uh, like eight by ten rug and uh, barefoot, so I know what my boundary is. <laughs> as soon as uh, I get to that yeah, edge, I'm like, oh, backing up. <laughs> <laughs> That oh. usually doesn't stop me, though. That's the Ooh. problem, right? I, yep. if, if I'm in, like, especially with the swords, if I'm in, I just start swinging. And yep. <laughs> that's, what gets, that's usually what gets me in trouble because I don't realize that I'm, I'm actually a, I'm a, a foot away from the end of the zone and I'm swinging out <laughs> trying to get somebody. Uh, all right. Uh, when do you hot drop? When do you pod? Uh, I usually let my the squad figure that out i'll i i i'm not a, i i am somewhat of a follower when it comes when it comes to jumping off that off that deck mm-hmm. i will go whichever way and i will adapt to with whatever based on based on my loadout i will adapt with whatever i've got to go with that's what i'll go with and if we die and we i get three zeros i'm okay with that uh, and, yeah. and we can start over yep so <laughs> I, that's I when you say all right really that, that wasn't decision. my last one new last one <laughs> oh, yes, yes. That, that one didn't count let's start over yep it's <laughs> a <So> warm-up <laughs> so, yes, awesome they're all warm-ups <laughs> every single game except for the ones you win <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> totally all right we talked about your favorite loadout do you organize your weapon wheel i do not okay. the only time i've organized it was the probably two two days ago when I had the 10 grenades in the P90 because I wanted to be able to spam the A button as I threw the grenades. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that's the only time I've really in the last probably three or four months that I've ever organized it. It's how whatever I pick up. And somebody mentioned that in stream the other day that I had a whole wheel of guns. And I mm-hmm. go, yeah, I pick it up as I go. I suck it all up. And then I, I, as I find something new, I'll delete and add and delete replace and add. Replace and replace. Um, yep. And it might and it might be OCD. Somebody said it might be OCD. So maybe it's <laughs> I don't like to see the empty wheel and it has to be full. So I don't know. I don't know if that's it or not. Now I have Do to, you know have to how that. absolutely excited I was? I was so super excited when I saw your wheel full of grenades because I was like, this is my guy. This is the guy that I need to play with all the time because he carries grenades like I do. <laughs> but then I find out that it was a challenge. <laughs> it, was a cha- well, it was It was not. It was just, it was something McLush came up with. He goes, uh-huh. okay, okay. We all have to get, um, we all have to get grenade kills this game or sometime <laughs> during the streams. And I said, okay. And so, so it was big daddy and I, and we're, we're just carrying bombs and we're killing people and McLush is going, <laughs> Okay, I haven't got any yet. And it's now two days later, and I'm still using the grenades, killing people, uh-huh. and he still hasn't got a kill. So he's uh-huh. not happy about that. So, yep. But, yeah, so I don't normally carry that many, but it was fun, though. Yeah, I love them. I love them. I, right. I got a guy on a tree right there. That was great. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a TikTok later. <laughs> Heck, yeah, especially. Gosh, I, I say this in almost every stream. When you toss that grenade and it kills two or three at the same time, whoo, such a pretty sight. Yeah, I wanna, <laughs> uh, that's my goal. My goal is to kill three. Three uh-huh. and one. That's, uh-huh. that's, that's, that's I, when I, I get believe to. Reaper has done it. <laughs> After I did the two and I was rubbing it in his face, he had to go do three. Yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> yeah, that would that would that would be the only reason I would carry around ten grenades again is just to uh-huh. make sure I can get a get a three yep. for. Saddest clown. He does that. <laughs> nice. All right. So uh, another squeaky question for you. Uh, in yep. today's opinion, who is the best pop one player Ugh. um that's that's tough so i would if i had to go with like og stuff i would probably say sumachi is probably the best Mm -hmm. just because he understands the mechanics so well Mm -hmm. uh and i've i've seen and he works well with he usually has a team with him Mm-hmm. Right, and yep, so he's he very does. surgical, and he goes through. So I, if I had to, if I had to say, like, based off of history and the knowledge of the game, I would probably say Sumachi, because I mean everything okay. he picks up and touches, 
Yep. That's and he's, his his uh, movements are smooth. Have you ever like watched? Oh, I know God. he plays with yes. his avatar, but uh, uh -huh. he literally is just like at this calm. If he wore that heart monitor, I don't know if he does or not. It'd probably be down in the seventies while he plays because it feels like I'm watching that something that's like planned out for him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. A I mean, uh, beautiful I watched, thing. <laughs> so uh, Leslie Snipes wears that every once in a while, and I can't I can't believe how even his heart rate is too. Uh -huh. Mine would be like way up here and then I'd be napping mm -hmm. and they'd be way up here and then napping. Mm -hmm. But yeah, his is pretty <laughs> steady. So, you know, that's, that's another guy that I watch a lot too. So. Awesome. All right. Uh, let's talk about uh, what things are you involved in outside of the game? So have you done any like meetups? Have you done any um, special events? Are you part of different communities, either online, outside of playing the game? How are you involved in Pop One? Uh, well, I do do the, the comps, so I do that, so that's probably another question, but I, I, mm -hmm. I do do the comps, so I, I do ARC. We're about to do P -P PPC uh, in September, mm -hmm. um, but I would like to do a meetup. I think I really want to figure out how to plan a Midwest meetup. Um, you know, I think that would be fun, because I play with people... I play with people in Michigan and, and Canada and, and Illinois and Pennsylvania and Kentucky. So, I mean, Ohio's kind of the, the hub, really, if we could all just kind of come together and figure that out. But I have not been to anything. But I'm a, uh, I'm a convention. I've, 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 done, I've done speaking gigs and stuff. And, uh, but my favorite thing that I like to tell people is I was at South by Southwest when the Oculus was presented before uh -huh. Facebook or anybody owned it. Ooh, it, was, nice. it was the best. I, th I thought, oh my God, this thing is going to blow up. Wow. And a couple years later, a couple it years did. later than, you know, face, Facebook bought them for whatever, two and a half billion dollars or whatever. <laughs> but That's that, pretty awesome. But I got, to, I got to see what the framework, they literally were walking in a, like in a house and it was just wireframes. Uh-huh. And they were going, oh, this, this is the future. And I'm thinking, I don't, <laughs> and you're I don't, like, uh... I, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's, because they had, they had tons of wires. So it was the Oculus Rift and yeah. it had tons of wires coming out of it. It looked like something out of science fiction. I'm thinking, oh, that's really cool, <laughs> but I don't know how you're going to get it. I don't know how you're going to get it here. Uh-huh. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's, that's, but that's, as far as the conferences and stuff, that's, uh, Digi anything digital I'll go to, but for population one, I haven't gone anything yet. I've, okay. I've done the, I've done the virtual thing when they all went to, was it Vegas? I watched that. I watched those, those, those presenters there with vape, vape life awesome. and all those. Guys. Okay. Well, I want to give a shout out to somebody. We just got a new follower. Um, I believe you know who he is because he wants to know, he wants me to ask you <laughs> if you want to do a custom lobby, Jose Gomez. <laughs> Jose Gomez. Yeah. Do you have a, a gamer tag, Jose? What's your uh, gamer tag? Yeah. So uh, we'll see what he answers here in chat. But uh, he wants to know if you want to do a, a custom all a lobby. I don't know if uh, he's one of your regular teammates or if he's challenging you to a one v one. There's one guy that wanted to challenge. There's one guy that wanted to challenge me. Uh huh. Uh huh. Maybe this is oh, him. We'll find oh. out. <laughs> My daughter, my daughter also said, she, she in stream, she said, I thought you were going to talk about the Kevin Bacon story. <laughs> oh, share the Kevin Bacon story. Please share. <laughs> uh, so, so you, are you familiar with the six degrees of Kevin Bacon? How that uh, works? No, no, share it. So every, so every actor is somehow connected by six degrees. Okay. So of, to Kevin Bacon. Mm -hmm. And so at any point, if you go to any movie, you can trace it back to a Kevin Bacon that they were in a movie or, or a video with Kevin Bacon. Okay. And so <laughs> for the longest time, for the longest time, um, I knew people that were, had a Kevin Bacon of like a five or a, a five or a four. So mm -hmm. I would always say, Oh, I'm a six. We were at South by Southwest. Uh, Kevin Bacon happened to be there and I actually have a vine of that. So I, I, I can prove it. <laughs> but in order to be a, to have the Kevin Bacon number one, you have to be in a video or some type of screen with Kevin Bacon. Okay. And so me and a thousand other of us were in a video 
as he scanned it in in the audience. So awesome. that's how I became. A, that's how I got the Kevin Bacon of of number one. And nice. my, my daughter's laughing at me for even mentioning vines. I think like as you're explaining this, I have heard of it, and I do like yeah. I understand it There's completely. A game. Be- yes, uh huh. And I've yeah. heard of that yeah. like the, the the degrees of uh, similarities. Yes, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, so <laughs> six degrees is se- it's basically six degrees is everybody's separated by six degrees, uh-huh. and this one is particular for Kevin Bacon. Like if you go to Marlon Brando, <laughs> Marlon so Brando funny. played with somebody else that played with somebody else that played with Kevin Bacon. Gotcha. So, Within six. So. Okay. Yep. Um, all right. We are wrapping up to our last question of the stream. Uh, it's what is your proudest achievement in Pop One? Proudest achievement. Um, making a lot of friends, really. That's probably the that's what I like. I like being able to say that I've got some friends in the metaverse that I can go and talk to in the metaverse. And then I, you know, now we're even starting to talk outside of the metaverse. Right. So I think that's probably it. I mean, it's not, I mean, you can do the wins. Everybody can get verified if they want, but uh, I think that's probably it. It's the, it's the people in population one that, that make it what it is. And I think that's what I'm, I'm proud of is, is at least being a good citizen. Is probably the, is the answer. Beautiful. So hopefully that Are helps. You going and by the way, your Kevin Bacon number is now number two. Yes. You're two. Yes. Yes. Kevin Bacon. Yes. Kevin Bacon. <laughs> All right. Fixer VR, tell us where we can find you online. So you can find me online at Fixer, F1, XER, VR on Twitch, Facebook Gaming, uh, YouTube, and TikTok. And if you can't remember anything else, remember fixervr.com. And you can spell it with a one or you can spell it with an I. Either way, we'll take you to the same place and it all has my social media there too. I also Perfect. have a link tree. I have all that. I have all the stuff. You are uh, out there. Yeah, I am out there. I am awesome. out there. All right. Well, uh, I want to thank all the beautiful people that popped into the stream today. They said uh, hello. They liked. They threw a follow. Hello. There's some shares out there. Fixer, are you going to stay on live after this and play some Pop One? I I actually am. I'm, I've I've got comps tonight, so okay. uh, I am right. going at at around uh, nine o'clock. We have comps, so we, okay. I will be on for another hour and a half, two hours streaming comps. Perfect. Okay. Well, you guys heard it. So I want you to join Fixer tonight. Say hello. Let him know you saw his interview. Share the love. Smash that reaction, that heart button. And uh, jump into his other streams on his other platforms. And uh, Fixer, I just want to say uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for setting this up and being patient to get you on the on the calendar. It was important to me. Um, no, this is awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I, I enjoy your morning and your evening uh, streams. Please don't stop doing them because uh, I do look for the uh, routine streamers uh, to get me going in the morning. Uh, I haven't been liking my job lately, lately, and uh, it's been getting me through. So much appreciated. Nice, well, I appreciate that. And, and, yeah. and, you're, and you're welcome to come play with us in coffee talk if you're not working. So, or even if you are, I just play with a guy. He's work. He's playing. He's playing uh, Oculus in his office. So who knows? Sweet. It's, everybody's everybody's got time. So. Yep. But I really appreciate this. I was gonna say Tra- Tracy. I really appreciate this. I, <laughs> Absolutely. I, it, it's everything that you guys do as far as this this interviews and and devil's reapers does does his thing but this is this is pretty outstanding so awesome i think this has a lot of legs and i think that you need to get a lot more ladies on i'm, we I'm need to, working we need on to, it need to represent absolutely and yep <laughs> if I, and, if, and if i and if i had my request i would like to hear from yes tell um, me mcdorcas mcdorcas I think that's her name. God, I hope that's her name. I hope I didn't and, butcher and that. And where is she a streamer? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and what does she stream TikTok. on? TikTok. Okay. Uh, I'm t- well, she's on TikTok for sure. Okay. But I thought she was on uh, Twitch as well. Perfect. But I don't know. But I mean, she she's she's hilarious. And and uh, Mick Dorcas, spell it for me. Like M C. D O R K us U S U S. Okay. Okay. Perfect. I, think, I, think I will. McDorcas, I will look her I think up. That's Thank what you. It is. Okay. But uh, I don't know if she plays a lot, but that's who. That's uh, that would be somebody that I'd like to see. All right. Well, 
I want to say thank you, everybody, for joining the Tipsy Trixie Takes Over Tuesday, our interview with Fixer VR. I want you guys to uh, join Fixer later tonight. He's going to be streaming. He's going to be streaming his comps. We took the time here to ask him lots of questions. If you missed part of it, go back and re-watch the stream. It's all recorded there for you, and it'll also be dropped on the Tipsy Trixie page. So, uh, Fixer, you have a great evening, and uh, thank you for all Thanks, your you uh, patience. Yeah. Have a good no, one. No, I appreciate it. And I will post, and I will also post all that information. I may do a, a, a side by side. Perfect. That'd be pretty cool, too. All right. All right. Thanks, Tipsy. Have a good night. I appreciate night. it. Yep. See ya. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me this week for the Tipsy Trixie Takes Over Tuesday interview. Uh, Fixer is uh, doing his regular coffee talks in the morning and then his bedtime stories in, in the evening. And uh, you can rewatch the stream anytime and share it out. Get him some love. Uh, I also want to say thank you to everybody who popped in the stream, shared stars, uh, anybody that I missed when you popped in to say hello. You're always welcome to put something into chat, ask questions anytime I do these takeovers. Uh, I will be back on next week. And as you know, at this point in the stream, right before I turn off, I share with you who's going to be my next week uh, interviewee. I got a special one for you. You've been asking for him. You've been begging for him. A lot of you have been just saying, why haven't you done him yet? Hello. Get him in there. So, next week, we've got, uh, we're going to get uh, Mr. Space Roach himself. Yep, that's right. You heard it here first. So, uh, you guys all have a nice evening, and I will catch you all on the flip side.